welcome back. We are going to be working on a Duncan Model 50 parking meter restoration. So first thing we're going to do is get this baby into the sandblaster and get rid of some of that old nasty paint. It had a uh, kind of a silver paint that had been painted over the original. It's kind of a gray green, I guess. And uh, it was some pretty nasty stuff on there. So fortunately, the blaster made fairly short work of it. I'll show you some of this in actual real time here so you can kind of see how see how long it takes. Hey, look at that piece. I got those nasty little pieces of silicone or rubber down in there. And uh, we had to scrape those out. So you've got to kind of be careful with blasting on some of that because if you blast too hard, especially on soft parts like this, this is just a cast aluminum, then it's going to start eating up that aluminum around those areas that you're blasting, trying to get rid of those little pieces of goo. So um, it's usually best to stop, get that removed, and then go back and blast off the remaining residual. These are just a couple of simple tools that I use to get rid of the goo and whatever that's left down in the corners and crevices of parts. Works good to be able to kind of scrape it out of there, out of the corners. I also just use a regular knife too to kind of shave it. But like I was saying, you cannot leave that stuff in there. Uh, you can see it cleans up everywhere else really nice around there, but it, the blast media will just not take that stuff out. So after I do that, I take them back to the blaster and clean up those areas that were covered up by that goo. All right, so we got everything out of the blaster and this piece here had a bunch of dents on it. It looked like somebody had been hammering on the side of it basically and it was just all along there. So I just took a straight um, sanding block and went across there and got rid of a little bit of the, um, some of the high spots on there and blended it down just a little bit. Then we'll go through here in a little bit and put some filler on it. Now after I get that edge cleaned up, I'm gonna take it over and just get it rinsed off here with some phosphate. Basically I'm using that just to get the media dust cleaned off of there. Now that we can see that those areas where they're exposed, I'm going to take the great coveted Tiger Dry Lac Epo Strong. It's a filler that's made specifically for powder coating. It's kind of like Bondo. Um, you gotta use it kind of sparingly though. It, uh, it does not like to be put on super thick. You can end up having some issues down the road. So I'll put this on here. Then uh, you can either let it sit or what I typically do is I force cure it in the oven. Not that patient, I guess. And I'm ready to move on with the project. So then you can take that, just sand that back down like Bondo. That's gonna fill in those little dents and everything that were in there. This is a PPG basic epoxy primer. I'm gonna apply one pretty heavy coat over everything. I'm not too worried about the backside. Whatever falls in there falls in there, but I'm not masking it off either. There's not exactly any close tolerances that you have to worry about with these meters. So I use that epoxy primer basically as like a, kind of like a liquid, the 2K sandable primers. It has really good build properties, so you can build it up quite a bit and still leave plenty of room for sanding. So that's just gonna help fill in the defects in the casting since it's fairly, fairly rough. 
and then you can just basically go back over and sand it down smooth. Now I'm not too worried about going through anywhere on it because it's an indoor piece. It's not going to be outside. We're not worried about protecting it against the elements. Basically, I'm just using it as a fill primer. After everything's sanded, back into the booth and we're applying, this is basically kind of an original, original color is what we came up with. We looked at the inside of the meter and matched this up to color swatches and uh, found this one to match really well. It's kind of a gray greenish kind of look. And these are all headed into the oven for a full cure. And here's our finished product. Those dents filled in really nicely, so you can't even tell that they were there. They, everything turned out nice and smooth. All right, I thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you got any questions or comments, make sure you leave them below. Also, check out our Facebook and our Instagram if you're not already following us, especially on Instagram. We do a lot of stories so you can kind of see some of the processes and things that we do during the day and it'll just give you a better idea of the wide variety of things that we do here. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.